Once upon a time, there lived a young girl named Ebube. She was the only child of her parents. Her father died when she was just nine years old, and her mother died years later from a chronic illness. Ebube was a beautiful girl, but she never had good locks with suitors. All her friends got married and started having children. This made Ebube jealous and she vowed that till she finds a husband, she would cause problems in people's homes and eventually ruin their marriages. Ebube will spread false news about women and even their husbands. She turned husbands against wives and children against parents. The villagers named her Ogbanji because they felt she was possessed with an evil spirit. Ebube spread lies about a woman named Adugu and her husband sent her packing and married another wife shortly. Adugu was the one taking care of her widowed sick mother. When the embarrassment and humiliation she was getting from people became unbearable, Adugu hanged herself on a tree and died, leaving her sick mother behind. Adugu's mother, with so much hatred for Ebube, laid a curse on her that she would never find happiness in her home. And days later, she died. Ebube continued with her evil deeds till the king heard of it and banished her from the village and never to return. Ebube wandered for weeks till she found herself in a village where no one knew her. She began to trade. She would buy vegetables from farmers and sell them in the market. She sold vegetables for a long time till she met a man named Eze. Eze admired Ebube so much because she was beautiful and also hard working. After some time, he could not hide his feelings for Ebube anymore. He asked Ebube to marry him and she agreed. Ebube and Eze got married and she became pregnant and months later she had her first child. The following year they had their second child and in the space of five years Ebube had four children. Ebube and Eze were so happy and their love was growing till one day. All her children became sick. It was strange because no one could figure what was wrong with them. And before they knew what it was, the children started dying one after the other. And in the space of eight days, Ebube lost all her children. This shattered her and her husband. And soon, Ebube's mother in law started calling her an Ogbanji and accused her of sacrificing the children in her coven. A man from her village came to buy goods from Eze's village and he saw Ebube. He shouted and told the villagers that she was a witch and that she was banished from her village. Eze started believing his mother and he threw Ebube's things out of his house and called her a witch. The villagers gathered and started throwing stones at her and beating her. 
They drove her into the forest. Weeks later, Ebube heard the news that Eze had remarried. This broke her completely and could not take it anymore. She took a rope and hung herself on a tree and died. The animals in the forest feasted on her body as there was no one to bury her. This is the end of this story. The moral of this story is to do away with evil and to be aware that there is a punishment for any evil. Thank you for listening to this story. Please like and click on the subscribe button for more interesting stories. I'll see you in our next story time.